Oh, uh, thank you, Jeff, and uh, I appreciate you guys allowing me the opportunity to uh, connect remotely. I'm actually going to be uh, in Baltimore next week for one my next clinical observation, but also the answer ALS board meeting. And I, I figured in a meeting that we're talking about technology, it'd be good to use the technology to communicate with you tonight. Uh, you know, I, I've come totally to grips with the fact that I've got ALS, but you know, the hard, brutal reality of what everybody's been talking about tonight is, you know, for an ALS patient, and I'll use my own case as the situation, you know, I was 37 years of cat, two sick days, um, and just had no clue. And it all started with a dragging left foot while I was out jogging with my son at the end of 2014. And I went on the journey that most ALS patients go on. Uh, about a year of going from doctor to doctor trying to figure out what's wrong. And eventually, by eliminating everything else, you end up in neurology. And it, it, it ended for me on November 5th of 2015 with the utterance of the words, you know, you have ALS. Um, most of you translate your relationship to that through the ice bucket challenge. Uh, but for an actual patient, the discussion was along the lines of, you know, and as I processed it, I, I, I quickly moved to, okay, what do we do to fight it? And, and the basic description was you don't understand you'll come here for three months we'll measure your breathing capacity your strength we'll get three or four data points and we'll be able to project you know how long you're going to live and for an average als patient it's a two to five year period i think for about 90 percent um, now just for the record i plan on being an exception to that and then uh, i'm doing everything i can but the doctor really talked about you know Go travel to places you always wanted to go, and and and, and I lived and worked around the world, and, and I had a different view, and and I was really touched by a close colleague Jay Fishman that Jeff mentioned, and, and his advice was lean into this thing, and as I started to try to figure out where I wanted to play a role, it's a pretty fragmented world, the world of ALS, uh, but the things that really brought me to answer ALS, and I would say brought me to this discussion tonight were really three things that stuck out for me. One, in, in my career in the business community, I always found the great efforts for those that had great collaboration. And, and you, you've heard it tonight. I mean, references to the multiple research centers that are involved in this collaboration. I've been to the Answer ALS meetings that includes people from Mass General and Hopkins and Cedar sinai and Emory and others. And in those discussions, you cannot tell who works for which institution. It's just a bunch of passionate people that are committed to try to make a difference in this disease. You've also heard tonight great examples of, of collaboration across the business community. Uh, Microsoft hosting this event tonight and providing storage, storage capacity. IBM, the work they're doing with us in terms of voice recognition. Accenture and what they're helping us with in terms of the portal. So not only great collaboration from the research institutions, but also collaboration amongst the business community. The second thing that attracted me to Answer ALS was, you know, in a business community, we were starting to use big data and analytics and tools like that to improve our business. And it was just refreshing to see it being applied to business. I mean, the example that I used 10 years ago to sequence a human genome it would have cost about a million dollars and taken four and a half months. Today, it's $1,000 and it takes about an hour. And, and bringing that kind of technology to bear to solve a problem that, that's really stumped the medical community dating back to the 1850s, along, or, along with CRISPR technology that you've heard about this evening, along with the ability to do IPS cells, I, I think it's, you know, the definition of sanity is doing the same thing in the same way and expecting different results. We've not had a breakthrough in this disease, and I think using new capabilities to solve that problem are absolutely critical. Because until we know the pathways, uh, I personally believe any drug you know, test, drug trial, is a little bit of a long shot. Uh, and we have to know the pathways first. And, and then the third thing that really attracted me to the, the project was this concept of an open sharing of data. Now, Jeff referred it to earlier as the as the data is gathered, is put on a platform, as IPS cells are created, sharing that data across the, uh, you know, the ALS community. 
really it is there's no there's only one definition of winning it's it's not which research center gets credit or which one discovers what gene the only definition of winning is do we find a cure and, and i think you know this platform being openly collaborative sharing all that data to anybody and everybody i think is a key part of what attracted me so i've gone from just being a patient to also being a funder uh, we've made a commitment to, to to answer als as a as a family to also now working with jeff as the chairman of the advisory board um, when jeff asked me about it i said well you need to understand how i work and he, you know and in terms of structure and organization and 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 he said, you know, bring it on. And, and we have a great working relationship because we understand the fiduciary responsibility we have here. It's a massive project with a lot of contributions from a lot of key people. And we want to make sure we are wise in how we invest that money. So I'll close my comments and, and, and then Jeff, turn it over to you for Q&A. But I'll close by saying, you know, the reality of it is, you know, life throws all of us a curve. I'll be very surprised if there's a person in the room that hasn't been impacted by illness, loss of a family member, or, you know, tough time at work, or whatever it may be. And none of us are going to be evaluated by an event, an announcement, or even a diagnosis. Um, we're going to be evaluated by how we respond. And a, a big part of my effort in, in responding to my challenge at hand is to be part of this program. And I appreciate the fact that you you become part of that with your time this evening. So Jeff, I'll turn it back over to you. Thanks, Ed. <laughs>